Good morning, folks. Welcome to Wonder Eats. Today we are at Anthony Panko. That's behind me is RV Panko Resort, and now we are at Pasir Boga, and we're gonna walk to the main like town area for Pasir Boga to check out what's for breakfast. So there are two things that we're gonna test out here. One is that uh, this is the new DJI Action Two, and I'm just gonna see whether it can continuously record so if it's accidentally cuts off that's basically it overheated but so far I've been testing it on my uh, three days two nights stay here in Pangor and I gotta say the video quality and especially the sound is amazing so but uh, yes the overheating issue is probably an issue I, although I haven't really experienced because I only record in short clips but today I'm gonna record all the way as far as it will take me and it's quite hot right now at the moment it's 9 o'clock in the morning so let's take a walk shall we right. first and foremost let's cross the road Doing like conspiracy, camera conspiracy. Oh, I love that guy when he does all his uh, camera review. Like a slow mo run across the road. Amazing character. I guess that's what makes this video YouTube channel interesting and captivating at the same time. All right, so. Now the reason why I got the DJI Pocket uh, DJI Action 2 is because I was waiting for the new version of the Osmo Action uh, but they were so slow in releasing it and then came the GoPro Hero 9 and there's still no Action 2 and then the Hero 10 was launched uh, but both the Hero 9 and Hero 10 has their own issues especially reliability issues and that's a huge concern for me because um, I mean it's just weird I mean if you record and you know it suddenly shuts down or the, uh, it freezes and these are the things that are very popularly happen with GoPros that kind of put me off getting it and uh, I've been using a Pocket 2 and Pocket 1 for a long time and everything just works, you know, especially with the app, the Mimo app. So, which is why I'm quite vested into the ecosystem. And hence, I'm trying out the Action 2 now that is launched. Whew. Truth be told, I'm not a fan of the modular design, the magnetic thing stuff. Yes, it looks cool, small. But it just, you know, it just adds the complexity to the whole system. I, I, I really, really wish the DJI made a new version of the Action 1, Osmo Action, into the same form factor and kept all the, basically the waterproof and everything within the same uh, body format rather than this modular format. Because the top camera module is waterproof. But once you attach the screen, it no longer is. And that's kind of weird. And then you have to transfer the two the files from the top to the bottom of the modules. Uh, it just gets too complicated, you know. So, uh, but I guess it has its purpose and some people will love it. I did take out the, only the camera module yesterday when we went to the beach. Took some nice, very nice shots there. Uh, but obviously, with just the camera module, the video, uh, the sound quality is lowered somewhat. It's still good, so. Uh, but when, especially when the water went into the camera, the mic, uh, that little hole, pinhole there, it really muffled the sound. But I guess it's the same for all action camera. And then, uh, but you're just limited to 22 gigs of. Uh, storage, internal storage, when it's, uh, if you need it to be 
fully waterproof. Obviously, DJI do sell the waterproof casing, but with the camera being so notoriously known to be overheating, I think that just compounds on the problem, right? To have it enclosed in such a case, and um, you know, it's, it's, I think it just makes the matter worse. So, don't get me wrong, I think this is a cool camera. Serves me well so far in this trip. It's just a hassle working around the whole system. Uh, so again, as I said, I wish they actually made the old Osmo Action same form factor and just made it better. That would have served me extremely well. So I was also toying with the idea of uh, getting the actually the Osmo Action original one since this was not the type of system that I wanted but uh, I've been waiting two years for this so might as well give this a try and see whether it suits my uh, usage right? so we gotta cross the road again gotta do another camera conspiracy Oh, that was fun. Ah, I wonder how was the civilization. Well, I was running at the beach, slightly in uh, lower light. The you can see screen tearing or artifacts uh, in the video through this electronic civilization. So it's kind of weird. But I guess that's to be expected with all action cams. Alright, so we are at the Pekan Pasir Boga. A lot of people everywhere. Hello, the kitty kitty. So, there is a place I'm trying to get to. Right up ahead. I hope it's not too far. All right, let's cross the road again. Just get our bearings right. All right. So yes, it does look like it's quite far. Uh, if I turn the camera around, the good thing is I have another camera angle at the back. Right over there, quite a distance. I think it's too far to walk. So let's head on back here and find out what we can get. All right, so let's make a quick jog. See how's the civilization. It's not easy to jog in the sandals. Uh, I also have the horizon steady on. So as you can see, I'm turning the camera around. But it should remain steady. This is what I love about it actually. One of the best features. And the reason why I want to get the Hero 10 was for that specific feature. Okay, let's walk across. It's basically heading to the beach. Anyway, later you will actually see a cut in the videos because I accidentally turn it off, uh, stop recording rather, so it's not because of the overheating. 
but I immediately re continue again. And this is the place we came for dinner twice. Chaoxing restaurant. If you're in Bangkok and you need some amazing good food, this is the place. So good we came back twice. Two nights in a row. Oh boy. Okay, so now we are back to the main Pasir Boga beach entrance. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people, but there ain't no food available. So that was my number one goal this morning is to get some breakfast for the family. Ah, I do see this little, little stall at the end. Wonder what do they sell and serve. <coughs> Just turn the camera around so you can, can see. Pasir Boga. Oh man, that's lovely. Look at that water. Definitely deprived of this being in Kuala Lumpur. I'm gonna miss this because we are heading back today. The little shop sells mostly ice cream and fruit juices. Oh, there's a sea view hotel here as well. One Malaysia. Plenty of people already. And that's me. I believe right across in that island is Pang Kor uh, Laut Resort. One of the best resorts in Pangkor. Cool, let's head on back. And this time I'm gonna jog with the camera facing front. Run, 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 run. All right, that was a nice job. Right behind me is the Sandy Beach Resort. Met a very nice couple yesterday who was dining at the Chao Sheng. Had a nice chat with them. They were so kind because we they were there the previous nights as well. And uh, we took over the table. They're here I believe for four days, three nights. And uh, this is one to get away from the Hustle and bustle of Kuala Lumpur. Now, this is a good test of the mics because there's a generator just next to me and hopefully you can still hear my voice. So also one of the primary reasons why I wanted to get a Hero 10 or the Action 2 to include into my camera arsenal. Shall we go this way? Yeah. Wow. 
wow, it smells so good. I don't know what it's selling, but it smells so damn good. But it's not open yet. So on this row, there are a lot of plenty of very popular Chinese restaurants as well. I flip the camera around again. Unfortunately, I can't do it as easy as the Osmo Pocket 2. Pocket 2. So here is the restaurant Pasir Boga. But the main one is actually the green one, which is the Wang Wang Seafood Restaurant. That's the best of the best along this road, according to Google reviews. And there's another one right at the end. There are two actually. After that, Pang Kau Hometown, and the right at the back is Fong Leong. Okay, so nothing is open right now. Except for this convenience store. And there's the coffee shop. Again, nothing is open. So I guess we are really, really too early. Interesting. Alright. So let's head back to the hotel, I guess. The adventure is over. Now, as I was saying, why I wanted to add the action camera to my arsenal is because it serves a separate purpose, especially for uh, waterproof scenarios. So, my ZV1 basically is for stationary shots, close up shots with the product showcase feature, amazing. So, I can showcase the food. And then the, the Osmo Action is for walking about, especially in low light. It's amazing, even better than this for sure, the uh, Action 2. And Body Action 2 is definitely for the beach or water sports, mainly for my family videos because you know sometimes we love to go to Sunway Lagoon and I just can't take my ZV-1 or my Osmo Pocket there uh, which is a disappointment and I can't capture those family moments Oh, I'm getting a bit dark on the screen <coughs> uh, But, uh, oh! Good, action 2 So, yeah, I just needed a waterproof action cam to add to my arsenal but unfortunately again only the camera module is waterproof so that that's what makes the decision so challenging so do i go to the hero 10 and just make do with the unreliability of it all i'm not the one saying it basically a lot of youtubers as well even a good friend of mine, uh, Douglas, who is in Maysot. Uh, so, yeah, things just happens to the Hero 10. But it has a lot of advantage, advantages over the Action 2, especially with the removable batteries. Oh, uh, well. Whoa. That was loud. I think I better walk across again. You see? See, there's a pedestrian walk right there. The sun is beating right behind me. I can feel the heat on my back. So if I angle this a little bit, I think it will be better. Rather than here. Okay, so this is much better. That's for sure. And here we are. Pasir Boga. All right. Okay, so we walk along again. I'm pleasantly surprised. It's not overheating yet. And we keep recording. But I think that's basically it. It runs pretty well. And I'm going to save some space because I'm only using the internal 
sorry, technological problem again during this trip because my SD card is not supported by the Action 2. So I gotta get a much more faster one in order for this to work. So basically the whole trip I've been using the internal memory and every time I go back, I, I'm transferring in from the Aux Action 2 to my smartphone and it's quite a hassle. Man, it's quite a hassle. And uh, the transfer speed was fine, I guess. It's not super quick, obviously. Uh, so I think it took me to download probably about 20 minutes of footage, about an hour, uh, because of the, uns the according to Action 2 on the screen, it shows me that it's interference, uh, which slows down the transfer process. Oh wow. Hopefully, you know, I guess it requires more testing. Anyway, since everything looks good, I'm gonna shut off now. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to the channel. Peace out from Pangkor. See you guys in the next videos. Cheers.